Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Technocats. In this video we will learn about the uh, communication between Omron Ethernet uh, PLC uh, with the Visual Studio or you can say Visual Basics. So let's get started. First of all uh, let me show you uh, how we are going to communicate this uh, PLC. So we are using Fins uh, UDP type of uh, communication here. Fins actually is a uh, communication protocol of uh, Omron Automation. Uh, that is uh, applicable with all the devices uh, and many of the devices Amon has like uh, CPU and e, uh, CPU and L and NJ, CJ uh, many of the PLC are uh, use, uh, can be communicated using FINS so let's see what FINS is so here I have uh, some uh, to, uh, blog uh, written about the uh, communication between PLC and uh, uh, Visual Studio or Visual Basics. Uh, if you want any of the samples, you can download it from HMI Sample here. And if you want any post regarding PLC post and server post, you can uh, come here and check. Uh, if you want samples, you can also uh, uh, you know, uh, refer this automation solutions .blogspot .it. Now, getting started. Uh, I will just brief you about the fins command see this is a UDP user uh, data frame uh, protocol packet uh, here we have Ethernet header IP header UDP header and fins frame so that above Ethernet header IP header and UDP header will be the same for all the commands so this is basically uh, the above fins header is ICF RSV RGT R DNA, DA1, all these are you know you can see the content here. Display frame information reserved by system is RSV is reserved by system. So all these are one-time uh, adjust uh, adjustment parameters. The other is fins command. This can be changed according to your need. That uh, if you want to read D register or you want to write D register or you want to read CIO bits or you have to write CIO bits. So the fins frame will change accordingly, and also the fins fins parameter data so coming down yeah now uh, as you can see RSP reserved by system we have set as 0 PNA GA, or you can see GCT is set as 0 2 DNA is set as 0 0 I will show you here in uh, Visual Studio or Visual Basics uh, program here uh, I will just open the uh, send I think yes Okay, now okay. ICF is set as a T G T G C T is 03, RSV is 00. So you can use uh, exactly the same. And uh, also, you know, I have restricted the IP address of uh, remote and local uh, station. Local IP is not this uh, actually. So you can change it from uh, if uh, according to your PC, or you can use text input also. Remote IP is set here. Port address for both uh, remote and uh, local IP is set as 9600. I will show you in uh, show you below. Now, this is my send command frame. Uh, this is my receive command frame. Uh, logic here written and I uh, will show you here that uh, yeah. So this is basically Fins protocol, uh, Fins command uh, combined. So how we can uh, you know decide what command we have to write. So first of all if you talk about uh, the go to frame if you talk about 10.00 if you want to uh, on CIO 10.00 I will just double click here. So you will basically use this command that is 0102. Now what is 0102? So let me show you here. 0102 is, is for I/O memory area access. 0102 memory area write. Now, if we talk about the command, so the first two blocks are command code. That is 0101, as in our case. Okay, I/O memory area. If we talk about I/O memory area, I/O memory area we have written here as 30. Okay. So what 30 means? Uh, let's go back. 
and we go up and here yeah this so for cio it's 30 memory area code in hex format that is cio 0002 614315 that is the maximum value now we that both is both these are uh, okay now beginning address so beginning address uh, here is set as triple zero a that means 10 so 10.00 you can write it like this 00 and 0 a uh, uh, before the point it's here and after the point it's here sorry not uh, not here then this 0 a and another 0, zero I mentioned here like 0 a 0 0 uh, 0 1 like 0 a 0 2 that is for uh, 100 uh, 10.02 like this you can arrange and uh, in at the end you can see 101 uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay so what this 0, 1, 0, 1 means that is number of items like one item and the value of one item is 0, 01 so the number of item is 0, 01 you have to write only one uh, bit one uh, uh, you mean uh, that uh, address memory and 0 1 will be the value if I write 0 0 then it will be set as 0 off command like in you can see here in off command 1 0 1 and 0 0 but in if you turn this uh, you are turning this 10.00 as on then you can see that we have used 1 0 1 0 1 so this is since uh, command for CIO write now I want to read the data memory area as I have mentioned here d0 d2 to d5 so what I will do is I will just create another command that is 0101 now a2 is the code so 0101 is a earlier man yeah, sorry 0101 is for here uh, 0101 memory area edit okay now 82 here I can show you in manual so 82 is the command code uh, uh, sorry designation code for uh, d02 32767 so here at 0101 82 is for uh, the d data register and starting address is 00 now I have to I have read total AA that means if I go to the calculator AA means uh, let me open the scientific program on the camera sorry uh, in hex format uh, double A means 170 so I am total reading 170 uh, data from the PLC that is from D0 to D169 and I've just converted them in separate string like the text or zip dot substring 04 and till here so you can uh, use this sample if you want to and you can make changes to this so I have provided this uh, sample in the automation solution blog uh, download section so you can download it from there so that's all in this video if you like my video please like share and subscribe thank you